Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you my tips to stay healthy for this holiday. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to give you my recommendations about what I would recommend for you to keep infections away. Hey guys, I want to thank you for joining me tonight. And in tonight's video, we will talk about the tips that I recommend for staying healthy this season. My name is Dr. Samir Assam. I am a board certified gastroenterologist practicing in Texas. My passion is to give you accurate information that you can take home and implement today. At any point in time in the video, I would encourage you to check out the show notes and the links where I put all of the links uh, of what I may be talking about in the video today. I also put a link to my newsletter. If you like this newsletter, or if you like these videos, I would encourage you to subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, if you like this video, I would encourage you to follow me on my social media page and I would encourage you to, to subscribe to my videos as well and like my Facebook page and my YouTube page as well. And in today's video, you will learn a couple things. Number one, some of the tips that I recommend to survive the holidays. Number two, tips that I recommend to survive some of the holiday parties. And number three, how not to be sick during the holiday season. This is the time when people get sick all the time, whether it's colds, fevers, people get the flu and things get passed around between people and people and it can be a very difficult time to meet the normal people that we want to do during the holidays and during the parties because you're worried about getting sick and in today's video we'll talk about what we can do to hopefully help out with that so one of the most important things that we recommend no matter what is take a vacation unfortunately about half of the americans currently living here don't ha don't use all their vacation days. They can lead up to 660 million unused vacation days. That's an outstanding, outstanding figure. And a lot of people don't use this time to actually get away and to relax. It's very important for your health to actually do that. Taking a vacation, getting away from work, getting away from your normal activity, it, there's been studies to show this can help boost your health, boost your mental health, boost your well-being, and make you feel better as well. It also helps out with stress and helps to alleviate some of those issues you may be having. So make sure you take a consistent vacation. If you're not taking a vacation during this holiday, try to get away. <clears throat> if you have to take a drive, take a drive. If you have to maybe do a staycation, maybe consider doing that as well. But find some way to get away from your normal grind to enjoy your time, reflect, and enjoy the, the, the peace that you can have away from your everyday activity. This will not only help out with your mental health, but also help out with your vacation as well. One of the difficulty things that we can have is going to holiday parties where we're meeting all sorts of different people and having conversations, maybe not seeing people you haven't seen for in a long time. And with that can come conversations which can be difficult sometimes for patients to have. And so when you're ever you're at a holiday party, you're at an event, and you may not be you may be in a conversation that you may not like, or you may not be with people who you typically enjoy. The ways to help out with that is just be present in the situation. Just be mindful of where you're at, be present in the situation, and understand that you may be in a, in a place or may be talking to somebody who you may not agree with, but it would be helpful to know exactly what the other person's point of view is. Another recommendation is, is use this time to really reconnect with, with your family members, and even those who have different views, especially those who have different political or religious views. With the, world, with the way the world is going in today, we're all going into our little silos and not having the conversation that, we're ha that we need to have with other people. And use this time to bring up a different topic that with somebody who you may not agree with, or maybe discuss a different point of view with, with somebody who you don't typically associate it with. The holiday party is a great time to do this, and it's a good time for you to mingle with those people who you typically don't mingle on a routine basis. Another thing that we recommend is also don't try to change the opinions of others. You're gonna be following people who may not have the exact opinion that you have about a particular problem. And this, uh, that's okay. We all have our own different different problems. We all, all have our own different opinions as well. So use this time to just embrace who you are, embrace who the other person is. Another recommendation that I have is use what's called charitable thinking. Think the best of the next person. Studies have shown that using charitable thinking can actually help out with, be, with anxiety, help out with stress, and also just help you become a better person. Think the best of the next person. Make sure, think that they may have the best thoughts or that they may have the, the best inclination for what, be, what could be going on as well. It's also important to be kind and compassionate as well. Spend quality time with your, the people who you care about. Try to avoid the stress. 
The holiday parties can be stressful in and of itself, but use that time to really relax, connect with people, and to just be one with the person who you're with, and also be present as well. Food, let's talk about food. So the holiday times can be a difficult time for people who are trying to maintain a particular diet or are trying to change their diet because of the certain foods that may be eating that can be making your other symptoms worse. Here are my tips that I recommend. Number one, give your stomach a chance to send the message your brain is full. Don't try to eat more than you can. Just kind of eat on a slow, relaxed space and give your body the time to adjust to the new foods. You're, you're going to be having a lot more foods, a lot more richer foods, foods that may be high in, in carbohydrates and sugar. And so give your body time to kind of adapt to that and to know that your brain may be thinking that you're more hungry than your body actually is. The other thing we want to try and do is try to keep a distance away from the snack table or from the tray as well. There are going to be a lot of snacks that are going to be outside all throughout the holiday parties and all throughout the places you may be visiting. And what one simple thing you can do is actually have a physical di distance between where that snack tray is, where the sweets are, and where you can be as well. And that physical distance actually may prevent you from munching on those particular foods. Another recommendation that we recommend is avoid sugary drinks. Things like eggnog or sodas or drinks that have a lot of sugar to them. Try to avoid those. At least don't go off your diet if you are trying to, um, if you're in an environment where that has a lot of sugary foods that are there. Use seltzer instead of soda, for example. Another thing that I recommend for, our pa for my patients is never go shopping when you're hungry. That is so hard to do. You know, we get caught up in going Christmas shopping for our friends and family members that we tend to forget to take time to eat ourselves. And obviously, whenever you're hungry, you don't make the best decisions when you're shopping. And so you may end up buying something that you regret as well. Another recommendation that I have is to keep on moving. It's very important to keep being active and keep moving as well. One of the things that I recommend is try to park away from your entrance or where the store you're going to. So if you need to walk some distances to get there, that actually may be a good thing to helpfully allow you to walk where you need to walk. Keep on moving, keep on doing the exercises that you normally would do as well. Don't let exercise take a backseat during the holidays and try to do a high intensity interval training. It only takes about 15 or 20 minutes per day, but studies have shown this to be very effective to maintain cardiovascular health and also to maintain uh, weight loss as well. And so try to implement any type of exercise that you can. Now let's talk about what you can do to keep infections away. One of the more difficult things around this time of the year is that there's a <clears throat> high chance of flu, high chance of cold, high chance of viruses. A lot of people that you may meet at these parties could be sick, they could be having their own colds and illnesses as well. And one of the things that we recommend to stay cold free is try to minimize your contact with people who may be uh, around people who may have pneumonias or colds and flus. And one of the best ways you can do that is to wash your hands. Constantly hand washing your hands can decrease the amount of bacteria, which would in turn decrease the amount of transmission between you and somebody else with that particular bacteria as well. Get enough sleep. It's very hard during this time to get enough sleep. Sometimes we stay late at parties and we have to wake up early for work, but sleep is a very important thing to make sure that you can maintain that adequate sleep to help fight off infections, get you feeling better as well. If you typically average about eight hours of sleep, try to get those eight hours if you can. If you average about six hours, you're doing okay with it, that's fine, but try not to change your sleep patterns any more than what you had before the holiday seasons were here. The immune system can really be affected if you don't get at least six hours of sleep. Get your flu shot. Now, if you've not gotten your flu shot, I am a strong advocate of getting your flu shot. This has been shown to be protective against certain strains of flu, and there's really no downside in getting your flu shot. And so I would encourage you, if you haven't gotten your flu shot, make sure you get that. There is very good evidence to suggest that this can help decrease the risk of transmission of the flu. And the flu is something that certainly you don't want to get. And lastly, some people may notice that their mood can change during these holidays and they actually may be suffering from a condition called seasonal affective disorder. And what this is, this is a mood change that's actually more different than being a little down when the weather is bad. This is actually a physiological response in which you have a depression during times whenever you're around areas in which does not have a much as no, enough light. This is more than just holiday blues. This is actually a, a serious medical condition. And if you notice yourself actually becoming depressed whenever you're around uh, the holiday times when the sun isn't out, 
when it's cloudy outside, you may actually may be suffering from seasonal affective disorder. Make sure you speak to your healthcare provider about what you can do to hopefully get that taken care of you. So I want to thank you guys for joining me today. My question for you today is what tips will you try this holiday? I want you to comment down below and let me know out of this talk today, which tips would you recommend or which tips would you take home to hopefully help out to maintain your health during the holidays. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, every Tuesday, I do a Facebook Live around 7.30 p.m. and I repost these videos on my YouTube page and my Facebook page as well. If there is any topic you want me to speak about, I want to encourage you to comment uh, down below. I would love to hear these comments and love to hear what you have to say. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Follow me on social media. Uh, please like my Facebook page, YouTube page, and Instagram. I want to hope, for, but hope you guys have a great night. Thanks and take care. <music>